I start off with a loose pencil sketch, just getting down um, the main features of the badger. Um, then I move on to using my willow charcoal to start making marks on the page um, and smudging in the black areas um, around the, the nose and eyes, as we can see here. Keep it very loose. Um, I don't want to get into too much detail with this badger because they're so distinctive anyway. Um, I just want to get, get a feel of it rather than go into a huge amount of finite detail. I also want to keep the white as white as possible um, so I don't don't even really want to draw outline around his face. Um, it's just getting those essential marks in um, and conveying conveying what he looks like with, without all the detail, like I said. Just putting in where the eyes are now loosely. Now I've got my um, powder charcoal which gives a much darker black um, and you can use it a bit like paint really so you can wet it um, onto a paintbrush and use get some lovely marks as you can see. Now I'm going in with my Tombow brush pen um, some some pens can be a bit problematic over the charcoal, but this one's got a bit of a thicker nib with it, so um, and quite black, so that works quite well over the charcoal, uh, just to get get some details in around the nose. So using it to um, use as sort of more mark making for the fur and um, whiskers and stuff, which you'll see a bit later. Now I'm using um, an eraser because the beauty of charcoal is you can erase, erase it out. So I'm just refining the nose a little bit. And now I'm adding some, well, just taking away some charcoal, which adds to the texture and increases the look of the fur. Bit more charcoal in places. Really, the charcoal um, technique I use, you just use layers, layer it up. You can add it, take it away, and that all just adds to the final piece and adds some depth to it. I've got my eraser again here. The eraser I'm using is quite good because it's quite fine. You can get quite a fine tip on it. It's a Mono Zero, again from Tombow. A bit more charcoal, just to add some darker, darker patches. Smudge it a bit. Back in with my Tombow brush pen. Just trying to get a bit of detail around the ears. A little bit around the, the sides, but again, like I said, I don't want to outline the badger. Starting to work on the eyes a little bit. Using the the rubber again, that's why I love charcoal, as you can take away so easily. I'm concentrating on the finer details of the eyes. I think the eyes with all these animals are so important to get right. It's where your eye, your own eye is drawn. Just 
trying to get the shape right with the fine liner pen or Tombow pen sorry a bit more eraser it is just a case of going back and forth until you feel like you've got it right and adding as much detail as you want back in with my charcoal my um powdered charcoal there get a bit more detail with the um, fine sort of brush strokes i work my way around around the animal i don't work from left to right as such i just kind of leave an area where i, I don't know i'm thinking maybe i want to start somewhere else i do jump about a bit um work work the whole animal as a whole back and forth with my rubber and charcoal pen now I'm using my white highlighter which is just brilliant to add um, some extra details extra uh, whiskers and fur textures Softening that nose, softening the stripes. Now I'm using a soft pastel from Windsor & Newton, that's just a white one, just to add a few different bits of contrast, highlights, a bit more detail in the eye. Using the reference photo. Softening that nose a little bit and then adding the um, sticker label. A few splatters of ink and a few details where the whiskers are and that's it.